What's up guys? So today I have a little story time for you. Um, this is one of my favorite stories to tell from my past. Um, so I'm gonna get straight into it. Um, to begin with though, I would like to say that I'm changing the names around in this story to protect the identity of those involved as one particular friend in this story doesn't like me telling this story so I'm going to protect their identity by changing the name if on the off chance you know who this person is please do not put it in the comment section I beg of you um, anyway I'm gonna get right into it so I have this friend and let's call them What's up guys, I got a little story time to tell you, before I do though, I would like to let you all know that I'm changing the names of the people involved, because one of the people involved doesn't like me telling this story, but it's still one of the best stories that I have to tell, um, so I enjoy telling this pretty much every opportunity I get, whenever I want people to know stuff about me from my past, and since I wanted to do story time type things on here, I figured what better one to start with than this. So I'm going to get into it. So I have this friend, a really good friend of mine, and I'm going to call them Shannon for this, for the sake of this video. Um, so Shannon and I have been pretty good friends for a while, and then I moved away from in Burrell, because that's where they live, and so I went back up to visit a couple of people, and one of the people I, ooh, excuse me, one of the people I met with on the first day I was there was Shannon, and so I was staying at my brother's, because he still lived there, and so I'd been down the street, hanging out, getting to see people, and then... I started to go home and not wanting to be rude I allowed Shannon to follow me back um, in hindsight I kind of wish I had been a little bit like do you mind because then I wouldn't have to worry about well I wouldn't have this story but I also wouldn't have this story you don't understand why that's both sides for a reason in a second. Um, so anyway, we get back up to my brother's place, and my brother's girlfriend of the time, they've since broken up and he's come down here and stuff's happened. Not important. His girlfriend at the time was at home and had decided that that night was going to be a drinking night and that we were going to play a couple of games and just kind of hang out. So we went down and we bought some alcohol and we went back up to their place and we kind of set up for a game of King's Cup. Now if you've ever played King's Cup, you kind of know the sorts of shenanigans that you can get up to in that game. Great fun. Um, you can play with things other than alcohol, but I don't recommend trying to like mix too many different types of drinks. Like if you're going to do juice, just do juice. If you're going to do milk, just do milk. Don't try and mix a whole heap of stuff because it will just taste real bad. Um, but you can play with things other than alcohol is the point. We were playing with alcohol. Um, and so from the drinks that we've had, like that we had there, we each got four like cruiser type bottles of different flavoured vodkas. Um, and then we were also playing with cups of vodka and orange juice, um, just to kind of give us a bit of variety. Um, so we started playing, it was all going really well, the game itself wasn't the exciting part, the exciting part happened after we finished it. So by the time we'd actually finished the game, my brother had come home from work and he didn't finish until like midnight. So it's like well into the morning by the time the actual fun part happens. And that is that my friend Shannon suddenly 
this piece. And we're like, okay, maybe they've gone and passed out somewhere, like out in the back room or something. And just not kind of worried about it. So me, my brother and his girlfriend were sitting in their lounge room talking. And I've gone, oh no, actually something doesn't seem right. Where is my friend? Where's Shannon? And I've turned to look and it's there in the bathroom, lying on the floor, stroking the bathroom tiles, is Shannon. Her, from her waist down, like, in the next room that I couldn't see. Um, so, I've just kind of gone, okay, that's a little weird, but she's drunk. I kind of, I kind of get it. It kind of makes a little bit of sense. Um, so we've kind of, we've kind of gone, yeah, okay, whatever. Um, kind of gone about our business. After a while, my brother and his girlfriend wanted to go outside for a smoke. So they went out there and they started doing that. And I went into my room to kind of start getting ready for bed because I was a little bit tipsy. But I was still like, yeah, nah, I should probably, should probably get to bed soon so that I can have a good start tomorrow, go visit some people, got a lot on tomorrow, kind of thing. So I was like, yeah, let's do it. Um, and then I've come out and somehow in the time that I've been in my room, Shannon had managed to pick herself up and walk outside where she was talking to my brother in some not quite hushed tones admitted a couple of things that she probably wouldn't like me repeating because um, she obviously will know exactly who she is um, but one of the things since I have your attention is that she mentioned that she had a crush on me loud enough that people on the next block could have heard which was great it was supposed to be a secret she had, she'd whispered the part, I've got a secret to tell you, nicely enough to my brother, and then decided to scream what the secret was, out. I blame alcohol and poor judgement for that. Anyway, she's then gone back inside, after that, after having her breath of fresh air, gone back inside, and it was about 10 or 15 minutes after that, that everyone started to get a bit concerned about what had happened to her and we went looking for her. So we walked into the bathroom, thinking, okay, she's obviously gone and passed out in the back room again. We walked into the bathroom to get into the back room, because it was the only way in, and as we've come to where their toilet was, we've seen why she was stroking the tiles. It looked like she stood directly above the toilet bowl, and projectile vomited with such force that it splashed back up onto the walls, and given everything a nice red colour because of how much raspberry vodka she'd drunk. We then found her passed out on the couch in this back room in an awkward position is as far as I'm going to go on this video. In person I give full details of what that awkward position is um, but I won't on this video. Um, so yeah Needless to say, since then, she hasn't drunk full stop, but especially, she has not drunk raspberry vodka. She despises it from now on. Um, however, the shenanigans do not end there. Oh no. Just because she's passed out doesn't mean something can't happen. I've then gone to bed for what seems like a couple of minutes before I'm shaken awake, extremely tired, and I'm just thinking, like, what is going on? Noticed that, oh, look, there's sunlight coming through my window. I've actually been asleep for a couple of hours. What time is it? Oh, it's six o'clock. How are you awake, Shannon? How, how are you awake to, to wake me up at six in the morning when you were so drunk you passed out before anyone else decided they were going to go to bed? Turns out she was still drunk. And then from th from that point on, I was like, no, this is unbelievable. You've woken me up. That's I'm going to be angry with you for the rest of the day. I'm sorry. That's just how it's going to be. And then 
once she had sobered up a little bit, had this overwhelming sense of guilt. So texts, text messages me from across the room, what have I done wrong? Let's have a look at that. You projectile vomited all over my brother's bathroom. You... followed me up to have drinks. To be fair though, I couldn't exactly kick you out of the house because it was your other friend, my, my but girlfriend, went to their house. I couldn't exactly kick you out, but still, you followed me up there. Um, and then you decided to wake me up at six in the morning while you were still drunk, so that you wouldn't be alone. You could have gone home, just saying, just saying. Um, but yeah, that's my happy little story from a couple of years ago now, but yeah, it's one of my favourite stories to tell people, um, I think the main thrill of that story is that my friend doesn't want me to tell them, tell that story, so if you're watching this, Shannon, I hope you enjoyed it, um, and if anyone else did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of anything else, any other types of stories you'd like to hear me tell you guys. Um, and until next time, keep your eyes burning bright. I'll catch you all later.